Check, check. <laughs> hey guys, Walrus Prime here. I'll be your host this evening for this matchup. Sorry I'm late. Looks like we're already underway. This is a matchup between, on your left, we have Colonel Fatso, ranked number eight on the leaderboards with a 3130 for his PB. Ooh, takes a little fall, some extra wall kicks. Those are never fun in the intro. Um, he went, Colonel Fatso, you went 3 0 in the group stage. He, uh, you know, cleaned out his group and uh, ended up taking the number two seed into the bracket. So he had a bye in the first round of the bracket. This is the the round of 16, the Super 16, if you will. You might know a thing about that if you've hung around this channel at all or, or any of the speed gaming channels. Um, and then on your right, we've got Valves 22. He's ranked number 18th on the any percent leaderboard with a PB of 31.53. He went two and one in his groups and uh, his, his lone loss coming to Kazmazots, and then uh, took a win off Crystal in the round of 32 to advance to the Sweet 16 or Super 16, if you will. Um, I believe that was by forfeit. So um, that's how we got here. Looks like we got a pretty good sync coming out of the intro, and we have lost Valve's timer somewhere. Oh no, it's just very dark. I think. Yeah. Yep. I see it there. It's just hiding in the darkness. So, uh, not sure what happened. I thought I, I thought they were synced at the grab. Did uh, valves not hold start? No, I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is a matchup. Uh, best of three. First to two wins will advance to the elite eight of the bracket, and the loser will go home empty-handed. So that's uh, that's where we are in this in this matchup. Um, <clears throat> I suppose we can talk about the gameplay. Um, <laughs> up first, we've got Chill Penguin Stage, as you guys probably know. Um, we come here first because the boots are here, obviously. And we need those to go fast. So, Fatso taking a little bit of lead. I think it's just some text box mishaps from Valves that uh, gave Fatso the lead here. But um, this is the any percent category. Uh, any and all upgrades are allowed, but I imagine these players getting this deep in the tournament will probably be avoiding most upgrades. You might see some relatively free uh, safety, such as the Dillo Heart for two extra health. And uh, there's a couple other relatively quick safeties, but I don't imagine Fats will be going for any of them. Valves on the other hand may or may not, I'm not sure. So here we have our, our first upgrade received from Dr. Light, uh, one of forced upgrades. The fastest way to complete this category is to essentially do low percent, um, collecting only two upgrades throughout the game that are forced upon you, one being the boots that we just picked up, which allows us to go fast, we would pick up anyways, even if they weren't forced. And uh, the other being coming much, much later in the run is the buster upgrade we get from zero in the Sigma Fortress after the eight maps are defeated. So Fatso making his way through the snowball section pretty cleanly. Valve's going for the D-boost strat to get through a couple of these snowballs. Missed the dash input, and that's going to cost him. Those are super frustrating. And into the penguin fight. Penguin, uh, one of the more frustrating bosses in the in the game. Um, his slide attack, as you see on Fatso's side, makes him completely invulnerable for the duration. So uh, that your best option is to just charge up a full shot. Peng Ooh, Fatso is dangerously low health. I think if Penguin would have jumped there, he would have been in a pretty bad spot. But he gets the kill. 
pretty nice kill, actually. I, I don't think I only saw one or two slides from Penguin. But uh, wasn't paying complete attention. It looks like Val's going to get the kill shortly behind, and we'll be moving on to the next stage. Up next, uh, we have Boomer Kawanger. One of the more difficult stages execution-wise. Uh, a lot of vertical movement here. Um, wall kicks, climbing, ladders, things of that nature. Um, as opposed to a lot of the other stages, which are mostly horizontal. We see Fatso going for the right wall. Impossible strat that is also totally free. Um, you see some, some pretty clean movement afterwards from Fatso. Some small things you might not know from just watching the game, but... Um, like wall kicks are deceptively slow, right? X actually stops moving for like four or five frames, something like that, when doing a wall kick. So when possible, you'll notice top tier runners avoiding wall kicks like the plague and trying to get instead what we call platform jumps, where you simply jump off of... Um, my doorbell just rang, odd. Nobody comes to my house, what is this? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna get it. Probably just trying to sell me something. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, we, we try to jump off ledges rather than kick off the side of them whenever possible. As well as in these uh, grabbing ladders is also very slow. Uh, so in certain instances, we'll, we'll see players try to sort of thread the needle in the ladder gap. The one right there from Fatso, where you can actually jump into the ladder gap and then kick off the inside of it. And here's some of these platform jumps I was talking about. You can kick off the sides of those, but it's much faster to get what we call these platform jumps. And Fatso seemed to have ex extended his lead a bit here uh, through Kawanger stage. Ooh, and Valves is gonna go into Kawanger fight with only four health. That is one contact with Kawanger or one Kawanger throw away from death. So we'll see if he can pull off a nice dance like Fatso. The relatively free fight for experienced runners. Uh, you get the dance and then simply stand in the center and shoot uh, back and forth depending on which side he teleports to. Now, Quagger's teleports are not actually teleports. He uh, simply goes invisible and moves across the screen at the same speed that he would dashing. So uh, by gauging how long he's been invisible, you can sort of guess or know where he's gonna end up. For instance, if he's gone for a long time, he will be traveling all the way across the screen, whereas if he comes back very quickly, he's gonna be traveling only a short distance. So, there's something interesting to note. <clears throat> Up next, now that we have the uh, boomerang cutter from Boomer Kawanger, we can move on to... Uh, Stink Chameleon. Uh, a relatively simple stage, the most mm, annoying part of the stage is the cave you see Fatso and he takes one of the rocks to the head, but that's a pretty pretty average cave. Maybe even on the on the good side, with just uh, one rock hitting him in the face. We'll see if Valves, nice snipe from Valves, but he does take a rock to the head anyways. Crashes into the next big rock guy, and, uh, and it's through the cave cleanly. The swamp section, pretty straightforward. Uh, some small optimizations you could do is like, trying to avoid some of these health drops depending on how much damage you've taken through the cave because X does have to sort of freeze up um, to, to get the refill. Hello. Hey. Joined I uh, rang your doorbell to sell curses and that for free, but you didn't open, so I just barged into the channel anyway. Yeah, you know, on second but thought, yeah. I did order two new SFC controllers, so I think that might be what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Well, rip you. Uh, we'll I see I am there. just in time to witness the most boring fight of the entire run. Yeah. Yeah, pretty straightforward fight. Uh, just boomerang back and forth. Uh, there is some relatively new tech where you open the fight with a blue shot from your buster just to hit him just a little bit quicker, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's kind of difficult. It only saves a handful of frames, but um, you see some runners going for that nowadays neither of these players doing it because yeah, it it's a, relatively it's, new yeah it's a pretty new strat i think only you and a couple other people do it so far 
And it's also a pretty small optimization for what you get out of it, I suppose. With some risk involved if you get some bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, there is a 1 in 4 chance, I believe, to get the bad pattern that it doesn't hit anyways. But here we see Fatso making his way up the climb. In Eagle does a nice lag city climb. Uses these ice shots. They're pretty here precise. Comes death ice kick. Shots. Yeah, is he gonna hit this death kick? Easy every yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, crap. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> the legend. Yeah, Fatso legitimately is not one to back out of risky strats no matter what he does. Yeah, Valves on the other hand is got his own sort of strat here where he takes a bonk from the blue guy so that he doesn't really have to slow down through these platform sections. Did kind of goof it there a little bit, so he had to wait. But uh, he's through without a death. That's probably the scariest part of the, uh, the stage, even if you're not going for death kick, because you get just a little out of sync and it's very easy to get hit by one of those flamethrowers and knock them to the pit. Yeah, I do believe Valve used to actually perform the death kick when he was a little bit more active in the game, but, well, considering uh, it's been a while since he's really very actively played, you can't really blame him. Yeah, Valve's uh, a long-time runner from from not too long ago, but more recently has not been very active, so be interesting to see if there's any rust that comes into play here. Meanwhile, Fatso only got three dives from Eagle, which is not too bad. Uh, each dive costing about a second. Obviously, the optimal pattern being zero dives. And it looks like Valves is getting quite a few here. So that's going to extend Fatso's lead. Look like a six pack for Valves. And now we have Fatso going Mandrel fifth. Routes might run apart here a little bit, as you can fit in Mammoth anywhere on the second part of your race, but standard, most people will go to Mandrel 5th, but uh, I believe Mammoth goes 8th uh, for a lot of people. 6th is optimal if you want to save, like, what was it, 10 frames? Was it even that many? No, I'd say it's much, it's more like 2. <laughs> it's like one, <laughs> it's like <laughs> one right. input on stage select. All right. by doing Mammoth 6th. Um, but 6th and 8th will be your most common um, Mammoth positions. But he can be done anywhere between 5th and 8th. Yeah. So if you ever want to save two amazing frames to save your PB in any percent, Mammoth 6th is the way to go. Also, if you want a little earlier access to the objectively best weapon in the game, Fire Wave. Uh, oh, yeah. Exactly. Even if it's only for the hype. Yeah. Firewave unfortunately doesn't have a whole lot of uses in the run as it is generally regarded as sort of a lag cannon. Yeah, it, it is, is a lag cannon powerful. and it also has very obnoxious uh, damage properties. Uh, I've explained this a couple times during my commentary streaks, but uh, yeah, it's very unclear what kind of damage it really produces exactly. Um, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, well, the most typical example of that is when you have the mole boars in the below stage. If you get really close behind them with the fire wave and you shoot like the full fire wave right into it, it will take a little while to kill it. But if you stay pretty far at range and you hit it with just a the tip, then it blows up in like a second. It's, it's Yeah, really I've strange. heard this before, but I, I don't know how much truth there is to that. Um, I've seen I've seen people I've people yeah I've, I've seen it before too but I think I think the mole borer like the second time around has less health I, I think is what what the explanation was I, I'm not sure you could be I, right and I could be totally I, off base but it, I think it's not I important. saw it explained on the very same mole borer so I don't know it, it's just far away is weird anyway yeah. meanwhile uh, Fatso has moved on to Dillo's amusement park with a couple of cart rides. So we'll be seeing him dashing through uh, a bit of the sec uh, blah, 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 a bit of the stage, but there's also all the cart rides, which is pretty fun. It makes this entire stage feel really fast. It's very relaxing to do because, like, half of the time you don't really have to do a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of just riding on these carts with some some fairly neat movement sections in between. Ooh, Fatso doesn't get the dash speed, so he's gonna have to slide past this mole borer. Dude, and Valves gets a little bit uh, smashed around by one of his cards. Much like in real life, getting off your cart ride is pretty unsafe, even in the speedrun. 
Yeah, keep your arms and, and hands inside the ride at all times, please. And be careful of bats flying around. Results may be different, IRL. Yeah, so uh, Fatso onto the Armored Armadillo fight. Uh, Dillo is in source of RNG in this round. You see him rolling relatively deep on Fatso. Actually, that was not very bad of a pattern. It was, I think, two extra rolls. Dillo can open up immediately upon hitting the left wall, which is the optimal pattern, as you can't damage him on that initial roll until he decides to open up, at which point you can remove his armor with the first spark shot, and then he's vulnerable if he does decide to roll again. But uh, the duration of the first roll is completely random and entirely frustrating. <laughs> well, it can be frustrating, but there is a point where if he continues rolling beyond, like, what, 10, 15 seconds, it goes from frustrating to straight up hilarious, even for the runner, I think. And you see Valve getting just like, okay, the, optimal, the optimal pattern here for Valve's yeah. opened immediately. And it's going to make up a bit of time on Fatso here. But not quite enough to catch him up. Um, Valve's actually doing really well so far. I didn't notice. Did Valve's grab the heart? Yeah. Uh, he does look like yeah. Mm, no, I don't think so, actually. Yeah, it looks like 16 health still for Valve. So, looks like both these players are going to be doing the optimal uh, low percent. Ooh, Fatso taking a bit of damage here. He's, looks like he's going to linger around try to pick up some health. Yeah, got a um, small drop out of that. Octo stage, probably the most dangerous stage in the eight Mavericks because of these mini bosses that you can take damage on and then the Octo fight itself is uh, quite dangerous as he's got all these projectiles sort of flying around and there is some intentional deboost there from Fatso. Uh, ideally you are able to avoid those death charges but um, you nine times some. out of ten there's going to be one in your way and it's better to just crash into it. Fat's also pretty good on HP. He picked up a little bit extra on the second sub as well to make sure he would be safe for Octopus. Yeah, so his, his health is in a pretty good spot. I'm sure he's happy with where it is. Oh. Valve's taking a little fish bonk there. Um, ooh, and he gets a searchlight. That's a that's another lag generating uh, mechanic there. But he opts to... Oh, an energy drain for Fat's out. Yeah, uh, the energy drains are another one of those attacks that are Random in nature and cost a bunch of time. Um, you can either wait them out, or as you saw fat, so you can jump into them and then mash your way out. That strategy is faster than waiting them out, but also comes with a risk of underflowing the timer that says release for, for Octo and getting stuck in what we call the infinite combo. Fortunately, that did not happen to Valves or Fatso here. And we'll see how Valves decides to handle. Uh, any Wait, did, you just say, uh, any. did you just say unfortunately or fortunately? I said unfortunately. For me, oh. <laughs> I like to see the runners go fast. I know where you stand. Um. <laughs> so you said unfortunately he did not get uh, that pattern. Oh, I, never I don't know what I'm, I said. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Whatever. I'm but happy that he didn't fun. die. I know you wanted to see a death, but... Uh... There is still probably a room for that in his entire run, so... Oh. No worries. So, it's, uh, so here we have Fatso doing his Blast Maverick, and Valves will be moving on to the same. Flame Mammoth. Uh, the reason, the idea behind putting Flame Mammoth last is uh, purely for like a quality of life thing. You get the two more random bosses and stages out of the way. Um, and so if you were doing sort of PB attempts or whatever, you could reset over bad patterns without having wasted two and a half minutes on this stage, which is relatively free. In comparison, no randomness. Yeah, there is not a lot of difficulty in this stage. It's very straightforward. I believe this together with the Dillo stage is actually the two easiest ones to perform consistently. In. Yeah, the, the only difference being that Dillo himself has a tendency to cost you a bunch of time. Yeah. You see a nice off-screen kill from Fat, so that's a, one of the many lag reduction strats in this game. Um, by getting an enemy to explode off screen, it, it generates much less lag. And it's only feasible on, on two bosses, being Eagle and Flame Mammoth, because other bosses have a camera lock and a smaller arena, whereas Mammoth and Eagle have free-flowing cameras and, and much wider arenas to fight in. Um, Fato, meanwhile, reunites with our best friend, Zero, to plan our attack on the fortress. 
with that we will see him uh, enter the fortress where the true speedrunner uh, well where the true uh, category of anything could go wrong really shows itself it's like fatso did not go for the uh, the task leap but does nail the the regular leap of faith very nicely Ooh, and he crashes into the last blue guy, but he's going to be okay. Uh, some of, some of this damage is intentional. We do need to get down to six or less health. Oh, in fact, oh, this is the skip again. <laughs> Flashbacks to AGD. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, at least we get to see Zero one extra time before he sacrifices himself and dies. So this will actually give Vals a little bit of extra time to catch up, provided that he also gets the leap of fate, right? Yeah, I don't imagine valves. I don't see him doing any of the setup for the the task leap. The task leap is um, difficult in that it's sub pixel dependent. There's a sort of manip you can use by doing only oh, full height jumps. Oh, okay. But uh, it's not always easy. For a second, I thought Vile was giving like some really crappy patterns to uh, Fatso, and Vile's plays it safe there on the skip. Does not want to go with the same fate as Fatso. Uh, so the idea here, uh, and you can see the difference, is that uh, Valves did not touch the ground in front of the door, which triggers the cutscene. Um, instead, he climbs the left wall and gets directly to the door, and it sort of plays cutscenes, but allows X to move onto the next arena, and that sort of mashes, meshes the two cutscenes together and saves quite a bit of time. The double cage on the left, though. Fato <laughs> being stuck... Uh... As well explodes in its own kind of cave thing. I say cave, I meant cage. Well, wild fights are actually really fun to watch because they are so incredibly fast. They're over in a flash, but it's so nice to see people perform these. Yeah, very, very, very nice fight from Valve. Fights. Let's see if Fatso goes for yeah the new tech. Uh... Oh, he doesn't new. get a drop. No oh, drop. Soft lock today. There is oh, a way wow. to uh, to skip this Koanga refight using what we call a phantom grab. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into it unless we see it from Valves, but I don't think he even yeah. is going to go the, for the it. The only thing that everyone needs to know, especially the runners, is that there is still a $25 bounty on getting this skip successfully at this stage of the tournament. Uh, the bounty is by me, in case you were curious. Uh, and you see Valve's just simply skipping right past any of that nonsense and going straight for the door. Uh, oh, Fatso getting some extra HP. Gonna be incredibly safe to go to Spider. Uh, Valve's actually having a nice little dance off with Koanger, meanwhile. Oh. Yeah, unlike uh, the original Koanger fight in the refight, since you have missiles, the dance is a little more different. Um, because the missiles knock him back further. So you notice at the start of the fight, Valves was sort of walking with Kawanger. He'd hit him, walk forward, jump, hit him, walk forward, jump, until he got him to the wall, at which point he can't be knocked back any further. So and a question coming from chat. Gun, Gus and V asks how long iframes last for bosses. Um, 60. 60 frames, or one second in most cases. Uh, Penguin, on the other hand, does have 70 invulnerability frames. I actually thought that the penguins iframes were legitimately also RNG. <laughs> but I may have heard, misheard that somewhere as well. I'll uh, trust in your judgment for that one. And of course big big mama spider here is invulnerable for much longer than that, but it's simply, Well, that's yeah, that's simply the mechanic. All the patterns. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe he's running wild. One more hit. Can you do it? Can you do it? It's free. Pretty solid f spider fight for both runners. Ooh, Fatso oh. missing a few dashes there, man. Ah, god damn it. He almost fell down. He's messing with me. Yeah. He'll die at some point. Got I'm a sure. little excited there, didn't you, Dragon? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. I peed a little. Oh, let's see what the penguin says. many slides we get for Fatso here. We got one. We got Dude. two. Uh, this this is stage Sigma Two is the the birds are jerks Three. themed stage of the of the run. Four. Also known as the uh, the MMX slot machine. 
Six, five. Five slides. The double. Oh. Five, five slides for Fatso. Let's see if uh, Valves can get any more or gain any time on Fatso here from a nice penguin. Looking pretty good so far. Holy Are we going to see it again? Oh. We saw one yesterday. Holy crap. Oh, oh. one slide. <laughs> the double. Oh, no. One slide for Valves. So he's going to make up quite a bit of time. Oh, crap. Man, that's actually really good for Val. That makes the raise quite a bit closer. Yeah, and did Fatso just nail four for four gap jumps? What a god, dude. Guys, uh, I didn't actually watch that. I, I know that you're incredibly addicted to gap jumps, but I'm not, so no idea. So here Eagle we have the other that. jerk bird refight, uh, Storm Eagle. Looks like uh, Fatso's gonna dives. get your, uh, unless he comes down right now. You're, this is gonna be a five dive pattern without any missed shots. Let's see if Val gets uh, any. Another lucky pattern, maybe make up even more time on Fatso in the, the slot machine portion of the run here. Well, I actually believe that the biggest RNG factor that we do get here is, uh, right, oh, looks like the exact same pattern. Oh, no, 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 no it's no, just no, the one no, dive pattern. No, one dive, wow, okay, Faust really gets good RNG here to make up some time. One dive, one slide is, is a very, very nice Sigma 2. It's yeah. not the uh, no slides, no dives that I got yesterday in my losing effort against Akiteru, but it's it's pretty dang close. I hope you at least golded in your raise then. I did, yeah, it was like five seconds or something ridiculous. But, uh... Oh, that was a very good fight from Fatso. Oh, he misses oh. the last shot on, like, on oh. those iframes, but... Uh... I, I'm always really scared when I see someone miss that last shot. If you actually think that you get the shot and you don't, then, I mean, it's really dangerous because if you let yourself fall down and then you fall on the spikes, it's like, oh, God. No, yeah, Valve misses the one cycle on the nose. That's going to cost him a bit of time because the walls have to open and close again. Ooh, and he's going to be very careful. His health is extremely low. He's got two hits left. Oh, and he pulls oh, it off. Okay, nice. <laughs> Man, you can't actually get hit by those bullets after um, Ranga uh, is dead. But Experience nice. pulling true. Fatso getting the Dillo skip. No problems on the Dillo skip for Fatso. Using the fire wave to get a charge here. And uh, gonna see a nice, nice Kawanger or Chameleon refight rather here, where we utilize the charge shot. The charge shot for most bosses does uh, four damage, while the uh, the regular weakness does three. And with bosses having 32 HP, um, two charge shots actually. No, not Vals! Ah! God damn it! Yeah, Vals missing the skip, so he's gonna have to fight Dillo here. But uh, as a sink, two charge shots knocks off one hit of the fight, and so one eye frame cycle, or roughly a second, depending on how much time he wasted setting it up. But uh, Valve's going to lose quite a bit of time here having to fight Dillo. Not only does he have to do the fight, but he has to sit through the, uh, the intro fanfare, as well as the explosion, and that's going to create a pretty big separation. Ooh, and Fatso gets knocked off the wall into Spark Mandrill. It's going to take a bit of damage. I imagine he's going to be taking the, uh, the safety health just before the Octo fight. Yeah, just to be sure it's always the best. I think, I know I have, at this amount of health, would definitely be taking it. Yeah, it's better to be safe on Octo. He is, well, to be honest, if you get bad RNG on Octo, you're actually really safe for that kind of HP, but since you want to have good RNG and not too much time loss, well, I guess it's better to risk it with your HP. Yeah, so as expected, Fatso has taken the health. Does take a body bomb from Octo. That does four damage. You don't want to take a bunch of those. So we do have two more boss fights after the Octo refight here. Oh, Fatso oh. going for the energy drain. I saw yeah. like two ticks of HP coming up on Octo. For a second, I thought he was uh, done for. Got another swirly. Man, that's quite a quite a bit of time loss for Fatso in that fight. And he did take quite a bit of damage. So I wonder if he'll be taking the top route top off. This time, um, I think he will do that. It I doesn't lose it's you that much coming. time. Yeah, he's going yeah. up. It isn't quite going to top him off because he did have was missing quite a bit of health. But um. it's better to be safe here since you do have two uh, fights coming up still, and you don't get a refill in front yeah, of you. had exactly one spark left for the uh, the fish manip. <laughs> Boomerang the ammo. Brings the safety ammo. Oh my. What a strat. I don't know that I've seen that before. Um, he must have used a bunch of boomerangs on on Sting Chameleon because 
Uh, the, the final boss of this stage, D-Rex, is also weak to boomerangs, so... If he was spamming boomerangs in that fight, he maybe had some concerns about having enough ammo for the the last fight of this stage that we see Fatso going into now. Looks like Valve's only got one laundry cycle from Octopus. Yeah. Just gonna give him a little bit of time, but... Oh, Fatso misses his dash shot to start off with. Not one you see a lot. Ooh, Fatso gets chomped down to two health. He's gonna have to be very careful here. Only two hits to go for him, though. And he oh, gets okay. a nice, friendly spark ball pattern. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm he sure gets, he was uh, relieved to see that instead of the, the, yeah, uh, the you, base crashing had, into the walls. And things you get like the that. aggressive pattern on D-Rex at that point. It's a pretty feels a bad man moment. So Fatso maintaining a pretty strong lead here going into Sigma 4, but as this is any percent, anything can happen. That We have a three fights in a row with no refills in between. Um, all all the boss is doing quite a bit of damage. So uh, it's very, very, very dangerous sequence here. Let's see what the... Yeah, most people get through Dogfight and Jedi very simply. However... When it gets down to the final phase of Sigma. I was got a pretty aggressive uh, pattern here. Anyway, what I was saying is when it gets to the final phase of Sigma, that's where things get really crazy. Things yeah, do so much so, damage. So the dog has multiple patterns. It also has short iframes, similar to Vile. So the fight can go very, very quickly. But uh, Fetzel got sort of a, a wonky pattern. Was able to get out without taking any damage, though, which is pretty huge because... Oftentimes you're going to take small small amount of damage from the dog, which in turn turns the final sequence into essentially a one-hit KO. Um, Jedi being in between is is pretty straightforward. Just sort of bait him up the wall and hit him with sparks. The idea is to try to get five hits per cycle here. Fatso missing one or two shots. Yeah, meanwhile, Vals is arriving in the dog fight, so he's not really that far behind if you think about it. If Fatso makes any kind of mistake here, it's uh, Vals' game to lose, so we'll have to see, because we know, as always, that these claws can be an absolute uh, terror. It doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, there are some things you can do to sort of mitigate the risk. You know, standing on the right edge of the claw here will... Uh, not only avoid the lightning, but keep the, the right claw from coming all the way across the screen and giving yourself a safe space. But Fatso finishes with a 32-27 according to his timer. I'm just going to take the victory here in round one. This is a best of three, so not over yet. We're going to have at least one more match race yeah. between Valves and Fatso as Valves finishes up the Jedi very nicely. Also at full health, so he's going to be in a pretty good spot going into Big Sig. That's looking pretty good for both of these guys. So let's see. Oh no. Ooh, Valves gets a bit of a rough pattern. Crashes right into the claw. Only one more hit. The lightning does 12 damage and, and the claw does 8. You have 16 health. Ooh, that's all on the ground again. This is, or Valves rather. This is not where you want to find yourself in this fight. You want to stay on the claw as much as possible. The ground is much, much more dangerous. But uh, seems to have reined it in a bit here. He's got it under control. Only three more hits to go. Yeah, he took some time to regain his nerves and uh, actually finished that out very nicely and finishes up. Yeah, with very nice finish from Valves. Finishing Almost just over timer. a minute behind. Colonel Fatso. Colonel and, uh, Fasto. Colonel, Colonel Fasto, indeed. So, uh, nice run from both players, and we'll have round two coming up very shortly. Yeah, I'm just trying to trying to oh crap. Crap. I can't get into the SRL thing through my life split. Oops. Oh well. Normally uh, I go to check up if we're gonna continue right away or if the runners want a small break to get some drinks or whatever. But uh, perhaps if you're in the SRL chat you can check up for that. Yeah, I've got it up. Um all right. I haven't seen anything there yet, but I, I imagine we'll be getting started again very, very soon. In the meantime, though, I can take a quick look at the bracket to see see what these runners are looking at if they win. 
Uh, they'll be looking at the winner between Kazmazot and Darren Vile. Ah, so so if Valves wins, he's got a chance at uh, maybe some redemption. As Kazmazot was the one to give him his lone loss in the group stage. Um, Fatso, of course, having gone three and zero. It's a grand John, no one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Fatso gave us a uh, a BRB. So short, uh, probably restroom break, and and the next race will be underway very shortly. Yeah. Quite common for people to take a little break in between runs. Uh, mostly, you see that happening. That they take like five minutes to just like calm down a bit or whatever. Allow the people to calm down a bit too. I have to say that uh, I don't know what happened in the early game, but it seemed like a pretty uneventful race as far as deaths go. So I hope things do hype up a little bit more in uh, race number two. <laughs> yeah, there was zero deaths. It's a very disappointing race for you. Uh, oh, that boring race that was. Perhaps a little in between meanwhile. I'm um, gonna just give everyone the links for all the information that you want around this tournament. You have a challenge where you can see the bracket of uh, what games uh, are still gonna come up and everything. Uh, there is also a schedule to see when these are actually going to be played. And of course the VODs, I do believe that we have to thank mostly MDOIS, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, keeping track of that. Uh, as well as uh, follow the oops, not the commentators. Well, okay, follow follow Walrus. At least he does speedruns with this game. I don't. Uh, I actually wanted to do the runners because you should follow the runners. Uh, Fatso and Valve Twenty Two. Valve's not as active in streaming as he used to be, but uh, you see him sometimes. And uh, Fatso, a bit of a classic Mega Man player as well as the X series, also has a couple off games, you might know him uh, for his, uh, what was the exact name, Pug Pugly Scavenger Hunt, yeah, Pugly Scavenger Hunt, that's what it was, uh, as well as a couple others that he just like plays uh, half the time when he feels like it. And of course, uh, the Speed Gaming crew is always there to assist us, so uh, whenever you can, assist those guys give them your love too or your money preferably your money i think that helps the most to keep all of these services alive so you know okay i've returned no oh, oh holy crap why did you have to scream <laughs> in my head like that sorry yeah. i was um, right i got two new uh super famicom controllers pretty hyped about that big deal oh, oh nice you have a super famicom actually I do not have a Super Famicom. I have a Super, I have a Super Famicom. Mm -hmm. You jelly? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, I think it cost me like uh, it cost me like sixty euros for a Super Famicom with two controllers, like straight from the box, like factory new, I believe. It's pretty cool. Some guy uh, went to Japan or knows people in Japan and uh, called it fixed for me. It's pretty fancy. 
Uh, anyway, uh, we, I do believe we will have our uh, next race underway in just a second. So everybody, wake up! Yeah, we see Bob's doing the the menu dance. Yeah, we uh, see pretty often. Well, every time one of these races happens, you leave it on the uh, on the menu without moving your cursor. <laughs> it goes to the demo. It could cost you a late start on the race. Fats of, on the other hand, using the uh, the options menu strat. So, but we're underway. Yeah, here we have a lot of holding, right, and mashing, and honestly, we do have time to talk about anything we want while we're in this stage. Yeah, so, I mean, not a lot of a lot mashing of objectives the, here. There are some small optimizations you can do. Uh, we don't see it from either player here, but uh, there's a strat we call all the tacos, um, where you kill those road crusher guys. Um, yeah. To reduce some lag, but it's like Fatso got the bad pattern from the B, the passive. So he's taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, if he gets another passive B, he's not going to be able to get uh, do too oh, much. He but he gets the machine gun. gun. While Valves, I think, got machine gun and missile B, so he's totally in the clear. Is it got a bit of extra health? You do want to get your health down to three or less for the un unwinnable vile fight. Fatso cuts out those uh, extra wall kicks he had in the first race. Also, I would like to just point back a little bit back to the start of this. Uh, the fact that we have a strat called All of the Tacos really shows uh, how, how like serious it has to go sometimes to get a name for a strat. Oh, oh, oh Fatso, why? Why? Oh, just man, fall Fatso in there. Fatso struggles a bit with the uh, task card strat. He did pick up a big health, so he needed to, to bleed his health down oh. some more. Um, he almost bled it out the quite a way lot. Yeah, you saw on, on Valve's side, we call it task cars, and uh... Oh, Fatso, uh, you can't catch the car! Uh, oh man, he's gonna get a... Oh, it's not that bad, after all. Uh, <laughs> Had that ship it, continued to go left, we would have seen a very, very long wait for Fatso, yeah. but uh, the ship decided to be friendly, show some mercy this time. Man, I can't believe that Fatso didn't die when he dropped in the pit. You couldn't even see X anymore. How did he survive? <laughs> I'm so disappointed right now. Jeez. Pretty pretty high that he got out, but I mean, dang. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. Holy crap. Yeah, so Vals is going to carry a bit of a lead into the Penguin stage here. And, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a lead. Actually, I think for both of these runners, this was far from a a good intro stage. And I know that you top tier runners get a little bit salty over like your intro times, but yeah, sometimes you just can't help it. You know, things just go wrong. Yeah, I've absolutely put in my fair share of uh, intro resets, as I'm sure both of these runners have, but. Yeah, well, everyone, because it's easy to frustrate it over and reset anyway. It's not exactly optimal if you're a new runner. You should probably just focus on time saves and the rest of your run instead of the intro, but, you know. Oh, Fats with a little bomb, not bad there. So and does Fouls. Back to the face action. Yeah. Uh, it may seem pretty minor, but being down one health here is actually kind of a concern, because there's a strat. This is a nice sink. Uh, but there is a strat. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming up. Wow, dude, this is off. Valves, why? I screwed it up. Uh, there's a strat coming up wait, we call wait. the no stop hallway, which can be heavily interfered with by a health drop. Fatso is the full question, now, though. The question is actually did Valves mess up the sink or did Fatso by actually getting the jump? Maybe Fatso is the one that broke the script. We're, we will never know. We will never know. Yeah, so you see the, the no-stop hallway from Fatso there. I didn't see what happened to Valves. It, looked, it may or may not have gotten the drop that totally screws you up. But um, No-stop hallway is pretty cool. The idea is that you, you use one lemon to kill two enemies at the same time. And you do that by sort of depositing it inside both of their hitboxes. Because uh, X's buster, well in his dash animation, is actually extended quite a ways in front of his hitbox. That is true, and this also teaches us that when life gives you lemons, use them to deal a lot of damage. Yeah, I guess one thing we didn't talk about yet is the uh, the dash lemon 
property. So normally, when just firing lemons while standing still, oh, fast so damage! Up all the damage, and so is Val's actually. Come on, That's... penguin, do it, my boy. Oh. No, Fats is gonna get out of here. Valve seems to be fine. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, back to those dash lemons. Um, <laughs> well, da well, standing still lemons do one damage. Well, dashing they do two. So you'll see players utilizing that a lot in boss fights and, and throughout stages. And another thing you notice, Fatso actually saved some time on Valves after the fight was over because Fatso finished the fight near the middle of the stage. Well, Valve's finished it on the far right side, so before the fanfare can can play and X does his sort of breakfast club uh, big day pose, um, he has to walk to the center of the stage. So by finishing a fight near the middle, you can save some time. No, we had some wonky stage selecting my Fata meanwhile. Uh, he actually hovered over Chameleon for a second, but luckily did not actually enter that stage. Yeah, stage select by far the hardest boss in the game. Well, at least something that you can easily make a mistake on, and you... I don't know, Fats would take a lot of missiles to the face there. But even like a harmless looking mistake is, oh, uh, stage select. Well, if you actually hit your uh, select button, well, I mean, just to select the stage. Uh, then that can really cost you a lot of time because you have to reset your console or your emulator or whatever. And, yeah, know, depending on what, what stage you select. Like if you've already beaten the stage, you can simply go into your menu and exit the stage using your escape unit. It's about a 10 second time loss. Whereas if you go into a stage that you haven't beaten yet, your options are to either finish the stage out of order, which can be very costly, or to reset and use the password screen, which um, it's automatically filled with the last password given, which can cost more like 20 or 30 seconds, I think. Yeah, a reminder that you should always do the Dillo out of order if you accidentally select it, because it's not fast, but it's at least absolutely hilarious when you hear 25 things going off per second. Yeah, Dillo without his weakness is a, uh, is a brutal boss. Brutal, I mean, I, I personally think it's comical. It all depends how you look at it, but then again, I am the guy that gets amused by everything that goes wrong, so maybe it's just me. So, oh, oh, that's what out of two health. We're gonna have to be careful. This is relatively safe, though. Now he can just stand in the center yeah. of the, the arena. No mistakes, and he's, he's out. He's got free. Valve's having a good fight. Oop, takes the hit there, but had the yeah. health to spare. Yeah. You do have to be a little bit careful with Koanger because there is in fact a risk. If you actually mess up really bad early on in this fight, he can actually legitimately still teleport inside your hitbox after he goes really low. Uh, and if you think, oh, he's not going to do that, but he somehow got out of his normal patterns and he does decide to teleport in your hitbox because of all your mess ups, it can get pretty nasty. Uh, and I, I know this because I personally have tons of issues with Kuanger when I don't play this game for a while and I've had it happen multiple times where I think like, ah yeah, I'm safe, but then I find out I messed up so hard that he just, well, teleport inside of me and I'm dead. And Fatso here is, ah, doing really well on dodging those uh, blocks, but I actually had to hit uh, one big rock guy at the end. Oh, Fatso yeah. taking. Like also, saw so some nice awareness with some snipes, but uh, gets hit in the face of the rock, anyways. Yeah, it was the same for Fatsu. they're completely unavoidable. Yeah, it just happens sometimes where it, they fall in such a way that you can't dodge them, nor actually hit them away. I like right in front. Uh, here we see Fatso coming in with the charge. He's going to go for that blue shot we talked about in the last race. It's a very small optimization. We'll see if he gets the good pattern. Camille can either hang from the ceiling and sort of try to shake spikes down, which is the good pattern, or he can go into the top left corner. That's what gets the good pattern. And uh, he's able to save a handful of frames there. Though he did miss the, the rest of the strat, so I don't know how much he actually gained there, if anything. Oh, it's always so amazing when there's like two parts to your strategy and you get the first part and mess up the second, you're like, well, that, that actually did nothing. <laughs> Great. Fouls with the triple boomerang to finish off Chameleon. One boomerang's not enough to finish off this guy. He's at least three. And 
I'm not really sure what's going on with Al's timer, but his timer is like... Oh, his timer goes black. Yeah, it goes very dark when uh, he, he switches to a new stage. And as soon as he becomes behind his splits, it, it brightens up and becomes visible again. Here we see okay. the Lag City climb on Fatso's side, kicking the underside of the platform and getting a nice climb. We call it Lag City because well, it's, it's quite laggy. a bit of lag, but it's still slightly faster than, than waiting is what you're going to see Valve do here. Here comes the death kick, and oh, yeah, no! he goes down! Woo! Okay, uh, anyway, this, <laughs> this puts Valve's a... Uh, about half of the stage in the lead, unless something goes wrong here yeah. for Valve's and uh, he dies, but yeah, since he has a safer a pattern. Lead. Yeah, this is a That's really the big risk. setback. Uh, death Kick is called Death Kick for a reason, and only saves 20 frames. Yeah. Uh, and it's right in front of the checkpoint in the stage, so yeah. it's really, really painful. That's what gets it second try here. Yeah. No fear, goes for it again. He, he got that first try on the second attempt, so good job, Fatso. I'm not sure, I, I kind of feel bad over how excited I got by Fatso dying there. <laughs> oh well, at least Eagle's gonna take a little bit of revenge and give Valve some bad RNG to trade it off. But then again, we haven't seen uh, Fatso's end of this yet, so... Oh god, Valve's is taking a ton of damage there from Eagle, jeez. Yeah, those were calculated de boosts. The boosts, yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh, Fatso's getting uh, another five diver here. Oh, never mind, oh, he comes nope. down. So Eagle's pattern is is interesting in that um, once he goes up and starts to dive, he can he's gonna dive once for sure. But after one dive, he can come back down and, and hover and eventually potentially either go back up or come all the way down. Um, but once you see that second dive, you know that he's going to give you at least six dives in a row. At which point he can come down after six, seven, eight, or I think even nine. I don't remember. We don't see that many dives anymore. Well, unless you're doing uh, bird third and 100%, you can see you can see max dives that way. Yeah, that is true. Because you yeah, don't have a weapon to deal uh, a bigger amount of damage to yeah, you the buster so you fight. To, uh, yeah. Takes more time. And more chances of diving. And here we have a uh, mandrel stage. This is another one of those really cool stages, like a uh, high input, um, cool weapon swaps, Buster uh, and ice going back and forth. That was, was took a lot of damage, damage there. Yeah. And you might be asking why we don't do, you know, mandrel second. It's, he is weak to penguin, but. Uh, Right here, Thunderslimer is the reason. He's effectively weak to Tornado, and it's sort of sea stinger. Actually, or, uh, I don't know if uh, two stop. Uh, oh God, Valve is going really low. Uh, two stop actually educated me a while ago that the true weakness of uh, Thunderslimer is in fact a uh, Rolling Shield. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that before, but there's no way you're gonna do uh, armor yeah, armadillo before yeah. Spark Mandrill, so. I know, he's I effectively know. in a speedrun sense. He's effectively weak to tornado because we want, we absolutely want to have a tornado before we come into this. Yeah, because it hits him on, on every uh, potential frame that he can get hit. But yeah, he's I, got I, pretty I just short want to make frames. sure that the people are informed in their casual playthroughs. If you ever do Dillo before Mandrill, then uh, Alf needs to play a little bit careful there with uh, Mandrill. But you know. Yeah, the little anyway, Mandrill fight can do, be pretty scary, but... Uh, do Dillo in front of Mandrill, Rolling Shield is your absolute love for Thunder Slimer. And the yes, Butterfinger, it's true. Just load up your game, get Rolling Shield, go to Thunder Slimer, you will see it. it it's actually true, I tried it when Two Stop told me, and this is a fact. He, he goes down and I don't know, like... Five or six hits, I don't even remember. It's really fast. So, uh, if I was still having a small lead going into the Dillo stage, so, well, in the stage itself, we're probably not going to see a lot of uh, things change to, to that. Because generally, you can't really mess up that much here, or very minor things. But perhaps Dillo has something to say about who's in the lead, or gets a bigger lead. Yeah, it seems Fatso may have made up a little bit of ground on Valve's through, through Mandrill stage. 
Yeah, you expect uh, Fato to be a little bit faster on his feet, considering he's been more active speedrunning the game. But, you know, Valves is definitely... Yeah, though, not though in the immediate... This race for free. Uh, in the immediate history, Fatso has been sort of more focused on Mega Man 3 ever since uh, GDQ, but um, still seasoned veteran with a very solid time and has been fairly active recently. It's actually nice to see that Valve still does the old threat of jumping ahead of your minecart to despawn the birds, which is actually an older strat people use. It's I don't think it's legit better or worse than just jumping on your cart, but only if few people really use this trap. Yeah, I think they're relatively interchangeable. And the idea is that you want to jump off the cart to, to avoid spawn triggers for the birds, which generate a boatload of lag. I was not having the same luck he had last time from... Uh... Oh, 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 Dillo! Oh. The Dillo! Oh. Dillo rolling deep! <laughs> Go, going in on both players a bit, but nothing too ridiculously bad. Yeah, Fatso gets a second set of rolls after having removed the armor. Less uh, less punishing, but still a little frustrating to deal with. Much harder to get properly timed shots when he's bouncing all over the place like that. But Fatso, Fatso handles it very nicely. Yeah, it, it can be alright, but you kind of need to calculate where he's coming down all the time to plan your shots in. So you kind of need to move yourself into a place where he's not going to like roll all over you while still seeing where you need to place your shots. You need to do a little bit of mats while you're down there. Oh, I was having uh, a little bit of setup time to jump over that uh, turtle. Yeah, as you see Fatso though, he uses the uh, spark into a tornado. That's another relatively new strat that I think Valves just hasn't picked oh. up yet. <laughs> Valves actually dashing straight up into that sub tank. Ah, uh, not into a sub tank. Jeez. Into the submarine. There are too many sub things in this game. Uh, sub pixels, sub frames, submarine, sub tanks. There's just too many freaking subs. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> sub frames. <laughs> TM. Yo, nice uh, depth charge list for Fatso. It's gonna gonna carry a full health bar into the uh, Octo fight this time. Yes, this is it's a nice oh, we have a nice sink quick, again. <laughs> Falves! Oh. I mean Fatso! Why don't you bong the fish? Ugh. Well, here we could have a nice demonstration of how much time these uh, laundry cycles can cost. We'll see what... Uh, Kind of Before patterns. They, they both get infinite comboed or something stupid like yeah. that. So remember, Fatso came in here with a very slight lead. Looks like yeah. they're both getting a laundry oh. cycle at the same time. So just one laundry cycle for Fatso. And it looks like just one for Valves as well, but just an overall sort of cleaner fight. For, yeah, uh, that's also a mashed out of the energy drain as well. Yeah, and that's going to save him a bit of time on, on the uh, invulnerability of, of Octopus. I do feel like Val, uh, not Val, uh, Fatso is a little bit slow on the mashing because I believe Octo it drained like 2 or 3 HP out of him. And when I see someone drain that much HP out of a person, then I always feel like they're getting the infinite already. Or perhaps Fatso is intentionally being a little bit slow on the mashing. Although that would be, it seems a really strange thing for Fatso to do. Well, by slowing down ever so slightly, you can sort of mitigate your chances at getting the infinite combo. But uh, it looks like they had a very similar attempt at top route there, both taking the bonk, getting the half top, half bottom route. Um, top route being only slightly faster than simply diving onto the bottom and dashing across. And that's simply because the conveyors move. Uh, X while well, he's dashing, so you get a little tiny bit of extra speed. Yeah, also when you have a conveyor moving to the left, you just want to dash jump all over it, so it doesn't really block your movement and slow you down. Yeah, you want to do sort of, you want to just jump right away rather than dashing across the ground. Whereas when they're moving to the right, you want to dash across the ground to to get that extra speed boost. Do you think it was just some sort of a joke from the makers of this game to make like the biggest, fattest enemy jump that high? 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> just maybe. just randomly came to my mind. I don't know. They all jump. Well, no. Penguin jumps really high. Mandrill jumps really high. Mammoth jumps really high. Octo can jump really high, but he's underwater. He's effectively swimming. Yeah. Um, Chameleon can jump pretty high. Kawanger okay. never leaves the ground. He's probably the smallest member. Ooh, and Fatso gets the Tokyo swap. You oh, see nice. a glitched out the ammo sprite in the cutscene. For, for, I believe, one frame you can swap weapons in that cutscene. Is it just one frame? I, I know that uh, I've heard you guys hype about it before, so I always tried it in my races. I think I got it like two times, but I have like no clue what I was <laughs> to do. Fatso's a little yeah. lower health than expected hero. Gets a dash swallowed by these platforms. They're notorious for. Uh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no, he's still alive! No! Fatso! He dies again! This guy is making me so happy, he doesn't even know it. Uh, anyway, that really sucks, but the platforms can eat your dash inputs if you try to dash within the first six frames of moving around on them. So that can get really nasty, and ooh, that looked really close there as well. Yeah, much, uh, much cleaner this time for Fatso. But yeah, as, long as, you're, uh, as long as you're holding right, through that whole section you don't have to worry about your dashes getting eaten but um if you ever let go of right you want to hold for, i believe it's four frames at least before it swallows your dash full but i don't know <laughs> he dropped like a rock man <laughs> yeah but he does get the skip this time so he's got that going for him guy. <laughs> get out uh, actually someone give that Guy double bot powers. Stay here and make another pun. So now we get to the vile fights again. Uh, really impressive. Oh, usually impressive fights, except when people get caged, then it's a little bit, eh. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate fight there for Vile's, but makes it out. Uh, Vile's pretty dangerous in that uh, two contacts with Val, Vile. Vile valves, they're like the same person. Um, but two contacts with him will will put X down. He does eight damage on contact. So yeah, Vile is a very nice. I like fight. a bulldozer. Um, it's gonna make up quite a bit of time in that fight alone. Does Fatso? So yeah, actually, uh, both of Fatso's deaths have allowed Vile to catch up. Uh, we'll also have to see because Fatso has gone for a Kawanger skip in uh, match number one. That's again a potential soft lot. What the crap is Valves doing? What is happening to Valves? Oh man. Oh no, what? He's gonna die! Don't what? do it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Thank you. I love people dying in this category. Uh, I have no clue what he did there, but I guess he made a mistake in his move and then the seas thing ran out too early and then he didn't know how to recover. Yeah, he just kept getting anything. knocked off the wall and down and taking more damage and knocked down again and over and over again until... You know, on another note, uh, with people dying and whatnot, I am not sure if Fato actually picked up any lives during the course of this run, <laughs> but if anything goes wrong anymore on Fatso's end, I do believe he will get a game over. So he will have to be a little bit careful because if he gets like really crappy RNG and sick too and that's like a bunch of bonks or whatever. Or if he gets the, the what, what, what happened to Crystal when he played against me at Death and Sigma 3 and had to do all of that stage over and cost like 4 minutes. It could really be quite painful. The only case in which a game over in this game has actually been official is if you're game overing in Sigma 4. Uh, because you wouldn't have to farm your ammo back. Anyway, this this kind of just puts Fatso in the lead again. What a chaotic race! Oh, oh my God, Val Val's 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 dash is right into the spider. That's Val. gonna hurt. I've gone a while. <laughs> uh, gotta watch out for these babies. These babies are extra dangerous now because they will kill him. Yeah. Um. Fatso makes it through. Was that a damage to the spider? Oh, shut up, Walrus. <laughs> oh, no! 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 Wait, how many deaths have this been? Okay, that's the second death. Okay, you should still have a life. Uh, I guess on the bright side, it was fairly early in the fight, so he should have enough 
uh, ammunition, given he he uh, he swaps off and he, he's not doing it. So the idea here when you're when you're low on ammo in the spider fight is you want to drop the sled, swap off of ice to to start your new charge because you're gonna lose an extra ammo each time trying to start your charge. It looks like he might have enough ammo anyways, but uh, uh, it might be a bit close, but he'll be all right. Fat time email gets uh, two slides. A double three slides. Four slides. Man, Five more slides. Hit for there he goes. Valves gets the spider done this time. Had just enough ammo. Five slides for Fatso again. <laughs> Valves, meanwhile, trying to explain us in the, in the, in the SRL chat that he's still. But <laughs> I don't blame him, dude. That death was. Well, comical, uh, extremely unfortunate for Valves. Uh, it was pretty uh, uh, lead that he No had. four on four gap jumps, meanwhile. Zero on two. One on three. Two on four. I counted them just for you, Walrus. Thank you. That's fine, it will be five dollars, please. You can find my PayPal on my stream page. Or just send them to Luis, that will be fine too. Anyway, uh, Fatso on to Eagle. It's, uh, it's like a three dive pattern here. Uh, one well, thing of note, oh, he gets the nice 50-50, so when uh, when Eagle's diving for the final hits, you can sort of guess which way he's going to come. There's really no indication until he starts diving, which you can use as sort of an audio cue, but it, by that point it's too late. You just sort of have to guess and fire a shot and you can get a nice kill, but you also want to make progress towards the right end of the platform that you're fighting on while the fight is going on, because Obviously, you're going to be going that way after the fight. So the closer to the right you are when that fight finishes, the better off you're going to be. <laughs> Some, somebody promote that that admin, yeah, that moderator to whatever you can promote. <laughs> uh, also, how's that? Uh, three three slides. What was? Did you get the pun? Did you get the pun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't, I don't get it. I shotgun lost this cool. It's not funny when you have to explain it, Walt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still on it. Look at how close Valves is to the edge, dude. This is, this is beautiful. This is oh, perfect. Wow. Nice fight. You can actually kill Eagle well over the pit, and, uh, and then just fall to your you death. Then you, you have cool. to fight Eagle anyways again. But, uh, Oh, do you actually have to fight him again? Yeah, you gotta fight him. Or does the register is dead? Oh, okay. No, uh, nice skip from Fatso. See if you can do this uh, Doppler effect fight again. Using the. It's pretty cool looking because you use the charge to open the fight, and then you have to do some sort of wrangling of your boomerangs, manipulate them to, to sort of trail around while you build a charge to hit him on proper iframes. And Fatso has a very nice strat for that. Looked pretty good. Yeah, and Vals actually had a really, really nice Ranga, but he is quite a ways behind right now, and we'll have to hope that he does not Mustello skip this time, or he'll be really far behind. So hopefully, let's see what he does here. He swaps, he gets the fire wave, he gets up there, and he misses it. Oh, he misses the skip again, no <laughs> valves. Wow. That's a, that's a substantial loss again. Oh, he gets a decent pattern. Not sure what he's doing. <laughs> Shooting charge busters and tornadoes. Probably really angry at the armadillo right now. Yeah. You know, I found out the other day when I ran out of uh, sparks in this fight because Dillo rolled on me for so long. Um, I said, I think Armadillo is actually immune to fire wave and tornadoes. Like, completely what? immune, even after his armor's gone. Okay, that, I actually wouldn't mind checking up on that. That seems really interesting. Yeah, uh, from 1 to 10, how unfortunate was that? Well, I mean, I, I would say a solid 2, because honestly, you should be able to get out of that, but, well, I suppose Valve just kind of lost his mind and didn't figure of 
a backup to get himself out. But even if he just casualed his way back down and charged the new Seas thing somewhere, he should have been fine. But you know, you're in the middle of a race and you're like, Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh, I'm, I'm dead. Wait, what? Yo, what nice charged fire, fire wave for the fans from Valves there, that was, that was beautiful. Fire wave! That's so making Sigma 3 look easy meantime. Uh... We have a little report on uh, Fatso here. Yeah, save it. <laughs> Very nice D-Rex fight from Fatso, and, and as reported in the uh, SRL chat, it's going to be a gold Sigma 3 yeah. for Colonel Fatso. Very nice. And add to the separation that he already had. But as we know, many percent. Anything, Anything can go wrong. However, I do believe he is on a uh, zero life, so the death right now wouldn't be too bad, considering. Uh... I mean, it's still very bad. It's just a well, little. Yeah, it's... it's just a little less bad because he doesn't have to farm. Yeah. Well, I was playing catch up, but you know he's not lost. He's not lost. Pretty good uh, octopus for Vals. Let's see if he goes for the top route. Top off. He does. And fill that health up for the last two fights of the stage. Well, yeah. Fatso going for the head dog strat. It's a uh, not great pattern, but he's going to get out of here with full health again. It's going to be a pretty good spot to wrap this up. Yeah, Fatso probably looking for a little bit of redemption for the things that happened earlier in this run. Since, you know, the second race has not been clean on quite a few levels, but, you know, perhaps base jitters. It always happens. Valves gets a bit of unfortunate RNG here in the Mammoth fight with the uh, left way conveyor. Gonna have to make his way over to the door. Yeah, although it doesn't really miss you a lot of uh, um, losing. Yeah, not a huge time, time loss, but it, but there is time loss there. Yep, true. These uh, boomerangs are deceptively... Um, Sort of difficult to control in this uh, T Rex fight, but Faust finishes off with some ice. You know, Fatso, the right clock comes across, but Fatso's got a plan. Having stayed on the right side, the, he had a safe space over there on the left. So, just uh, only one hit away. And Fatso claims victory the in this race and the best of three matchup. Will be advanced to the final Elite Eight. And for his match, next match, Fatso will be facing either Kasmazots or Darren Pyle. A race that still has to be played. I'm just going to take a quick look if it's scheduled yet. If I can yeah, that's tomorrow. Point. That's a race tomorrow. Oh, okay. So tomorrow he will know who his opponent. And yes, Kyle Precise, he did weapon swap in rhythm with the music. It actually yeah, works at both 100% and any percent. Uh, any percent you start the 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 scene on uh, Sparks after having fought uh, the Jedi, and it's perfectly perfect number of swaps <laughs> to the left to get to Rolling Shield. Whereas in 100%, you Hadouken the Jedi, and it's this exact right number of swaps to the right, so you can do it in either category. Kind of neat. Fun little tidbit. Pals meanwhile on Jedi. He got through dark cleanly. Now he just needs to do Jedi, which is well pretty boring, but you know, has to happen. And, yeah, uh, I mean there there's potential for time loss. I said both of these runners missed a couple shots. I think that's a Yeah, yeah. Point. It's just that I mean generally the Jedi fight out of these last three is yeah not that special once you get a bit used to how it works there's not really that much to it who narrowly escapes the lightning there <laughs> yeah I was really close I was surprised that he got out of it oop. oop takes a shot only three more to go 
Uh, and Valve's gonna wrap up. Oh, the double KO! <laughs> oh, man. Spectacular oh. finish from our boy Val. That does not technically constitute as a completed race, but I think in this instance we can give it to him. <laughs> well, I, I guess so, but I mean, that, that was a little bit of a swag finish there. I decided to literally go out on a meet. So, uh, <laughs> so, so the idea here, you can't progress the, uh, the text box. This is a soft log. And with this soft lock, you actually have to reset and go do the entire Sigma Fortress again because there are no passwords to bring you deeper into the Sigma Fortress. But uh, <laughs> I think we give him this one. Nice job, Vows. So let's see if we can uh, wrangle these guys in here for a bit of a post-race interview and uh, get their thoughts on this race. Fouls with the true man's answer. For anyone wondering about the true man's answer, I asked them if they wanted to have a little chat with us, and was like, yeah, sure, let me get a beer. <laughs> what a guy. Yeah, Mouse absolutely did that on purpose, and it is frame perfect, so. Um, shout outs to Mouse. Frame perfect. Frame perfect finisher, even though it was. Okay, Justin says it might not be frame perfect. I don't know for sure, but. It's close. No idea, honestly. Small window. That's why I hate talking in absolutes. I'm always wrong. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the Wikipedia here, so, you know. These are good questions to ask when uh, NRG is Amazon in the chat. This guy is pretty much a Wikipedia of this game. Either him or Hatfield90, both of these have tasked the game and have, well, probably pretty much. Seen every little part of this game in code, it could probably tell you just about anything you had a question about. It's not that we're stupid and know oh, nothing about this game, but you know. But in. Yo, hey, it's our boy Valves. Okay. It's first the question. frame perfect finisher. <laughs> first question What happened? Before Kawanger refight. You might have noticed I made a, a slight miscalculation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on my just, uh, just weapon one. selection. <laughs> and uh I fell to an untimely death. It's yeah, that was that's, uh, that's, that's about it. I just uh I was like, Oh, I'll just run out of sea sting and then, you know, D boost against the wall or whatever and climb up and I Jumped away from the wall, hit from the guy, fell down, and I was like, oh, now do I, what do I do now? So I guess I'll uh, try some weapons, and then I was like, oh, I'll just charge a tornado up, it'll be no big deal, and uh, and then I died, because I didn't have enough health to charge a tornado. So. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, that, was, that was a classic death. <laughs> yeah, a pretty common one, you know, you gotta be careful there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, you should do this like every race or two, you know, it's that common. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like we're joined by Fatso as well. Congratulations on your win, Fatso. Advancing to the Elite Eight. How do you feel? Uh, <clears throat> I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is also a very common answer. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first, like, so the first race, I think, was probably the worst deathless run I've done in a long time. And then the second race was one of the better, like, two death runs that I've done in a long time. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Well, I think you should feel really um, good about race number two because you've made one guy very happy. It was oh, I heard. I was listening to the restream while I was playing <laughs> and you just like... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought you were going to die from laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I may have gotten a little bit too excited when you died on, on the death kick and eagle stage. <laughs> Oh man! Well, that was a good race. It was fun. A lot of fun to to watch and commentate. Uh, Vals, I this is going to be it for you in the tournament. Uh, how how do you how do you feel? What do you, what do you, what's next for you? What's... Um, to be honest, uh, I'm really glad how well I played today. If you want to call that okay, because I haven't played in like a month or so, so I wasn't really sure how it was going to fare today. But uh, I'm pretty happy with my performance today. Definitely glad that Fatso gets to keep going in the tournament. And uh, no, I'm happy to have participated. 
Yeah, glad you did too. It was good to see uh, the the return of the Great Battles Twenty Two. So, what what's next for you? You gonna continue playing the game? You gonna do something else? You got you got any plans? Uh, to be honest, no, not really. No, no, not at all. I'm gonna go back to no. work, I think. Which sucks, uh, but that's life. Yeah, that's life. Well, it was a pleasure having you, and a pleasure calling a race with you, and getting to call your race. So. Uh, thanks. You, thanks for you should on stream a good again show. sometimes. You were the first guy that uh, that I followed in this community on Twitch. It would be nice, if it, even if it was just for me. Maybe I'll uh, I'll make a contorted effort to uh, stream a little bit more. I don't know if it'll be Mega Man, but you know, just to hang uh, out a little bit. More. I do no, like hanging out. Which that, stuff, does, so. that doesn't matter. Just stream. You got it, boss. I'll uh, I'll make an effort just <laughs> for right. you. All <laughs> right, good, good. We appreciate it. So Fatso, uh, what's next for you? I know you got uh, you've been focusing pretty hard on Mega Man Three, but you got uh, another matchup coming up against the winner of Darren and Kazbazad. So who, who's your pick in that fight? Who do you think's going to win that matchup? Uh, I know that Darren just PB'd recently with like a thirty-two oh two. So I think that I would favor him. Yeah, I know Kaz uh, was was pretty <clears throat> hot early in the tournament, but I haven't seen much. From Kaz lately, so it's a little uncertainty there. So I think it might be a safe pick. Um, how do you feel about matchup against either of those guys? You feeling confident? Uh, well, I mean, if I can avoid doing the things that I did in these races, then I should be okay. And after that, <laughs> we might see a, a rematch of the infamous. Uh, oh my god! That's how many? Hero. So Taking bets, if I do end up in a match against Nero, how many how many races does it go to? Five races in a best at, at, at least eight. At least eight. For, for those unaware, uh, Fatso and Nero faced off in the 100% tournament last year, about a year and a half ago, I think. And uh, in a best of three matchups, I mean, when we just watched, we had to do four races because RaceBot reported a tie in our third match. So it was, a, it was pretty hype something to potentially look forward to down the road, but that won't happen until I think quarterfinals at the earliest. Yeah. So. If it happens. Uh, semifinals. If it happens. Semifinals, that would be. If, yeah. I guess quarterfinals is next week. And semifinals that would be. Well, uh, something to look forward to if it happens. But uh, should be good either way. A lot of good content coming up. We got, I think, more races today. Even more races. I'm really excited, actually, next week about a potential, like, Two stop versus Nero matchup. I think that would be a really cool. Yeah, but match uh, to watch. I think they they both have matches they need to get through in order for that to happen. Nero's going to be facing off against Gear Bear, and uh, I think they already actually Trump. had their match. And Nero oh, was that one that early this morning? Was that one of them? Yeah. And Nero uh, prevailed. Yeah. Okay. So Nero's already amazing. advanced. But I do not know the outcome. Spoilers! Dang it! And I, think the, I think the Trogdor double stop matchup is scheduled for Monday right now. Yep, it yeah. is. Correct. At uh, 6 oh. p.m. EST. And uh, actually, for people who are interested in more, more, more Magman X action, you should stick around because in about uh, 30, oh, sorry, 27 minutes, we have Madu 1311 versus Tokyo 90. Uh, yeah, that matchup's going to be on Speed Gaming sorry, 2. Gaming two. Sorry, don't you mean Tokyo 98? Uh, sorry, I mean Tokyo something. <laughs> Tokyo something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, ex yeah. Excuse me, Colonel Excellent. I, I, I made oh, a little God. error there. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got that matchup coming up at 8 p.m. tonight. And then uh, immediately following that, at 10 p.m. Eastern tonight, we've got Energy Zam versus EAB Test Raul. And the winners of those two matches will be facing each other, so... Got two Brazilians facing off against two Americans. Who will prevail? Be, be interesting to find uh, okay, out. Okay, so. okay. I, I, I have to say I am a legit supporter of Team Brazil, but I, I think it will be good Team USA today. Yeah, we'll see what they can pull off. Anyways, uh, that's that's what we have coming up tonight, and then we have a couple more matches tomorrow. We've got Butterfinger versus Reeves at 1 a.m. Eastern. I guess that's uh, 10 p.m. Pacific tonight. For, uh, for us West Coasters. And then we've got Darren Bale versus Kaz Mazzotz at 12 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, Sunday. So, a um, lot of content from Mega Man X going forward. Getting down to the, the final stretch of this tournament. 
should be should be good stuff. So be sure to uh, stay tuned. Um, any final thoughts? Let's start with uh, the valves. What, you got anything you want to say before we we end the stream here? Uh, no, man. I think it was it was fun playing playing again. Glad how well I did. So, right on. Good luck Thank to uh, Fatso in the future races. Thanks, Valves. It was it was fun uh, fun watching commentating with you. Anything from you, Fatso, before we we move on? Yeah. Basically, I don't know. I'm just excited for all the uh, MMX action that's coming up here. <clears throat> I think there's going to be some really good matches, especially in the next couple weeks. I'm surprised yeah. he had an answer after telling us he feels nothing. <laughs> right on. Well, uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, quick shout outs to, to Speed Gaming and Feasel and everybody over there for, for hosting this tournament for us. And shout outs to everyone who played and, and all the commentators and everything. So it's yeah, been a lot of fun. Also Right now, go follow Colonel Fato, Fast 22, Walrus Prime, and then go AFK, take a shower, take a, you know, number two, get some food, get a drink, get whatever, and then make sure you're back here in 24 minutes on Speed Gaming 2 as we will have another race. And you all have to be there! Yeah. Okay, uh, well, that was it for me. Bye. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see you in a, in a half hour for, for another matchup. Have a good night.